Ladies and gentlemen, we're at Costco, and I just want you to look at something. This is Costco, folks. Look at all the alcohol, okay? We're gonna walk through this. Wine, scotch. There's a warning. Look what it says. And yet they're selling stuff for three grand in here. Look at this place. Look at it all. So this city won't allow marijuana dispensaries. And look at Costco. Look at this. Look at all of this alcohol. It's almost endless. I've never seen such a, a selection of booze in my life. This almost looks like a BevMo. But just, just look at this. Rum, whiskey, champagne. And we're not done. They even got refrigerators for it, see? The wine cooler. Look at this. So you can get drunk and drive. Look at this. An alcohol detector encouraging people to drink and drive. Look at this. Look at this place. Just look at it. Just goes and goes and goes, folks. So we got a community that has pharmacies on every corner, liquor stores on every corner. Most of the political leaders in this community are complete alcoholic scumbags. Most of the churches are run by drunks. The school district is run by drunks. The school districts are staffed by alcoholics. Just look at this. cases of it. It's, just, it's endless. I, I'm not done. Guess we'll turn a corner here and see what happens. Oh boy, there's more. Look at this. My gosh. What are they doing to everybody? You could get lost in here. Look at this. It just never ends. Several weeks ago, the city council voted to double the occupancy of the bars. In other words, increasing the capacity that the fire marshal had set to twice what it was. So that means twice as many people are not gonna be in these bars downtown. I really have never seen so much alcohol in my life inside of Costco. This is what's wrong with our society, folks, right here. This is the reason our society is a disaster. This is endless. Oh my gosh, here's another aisle of it. It just keeps going. So why is marijuana dispensaries, why are marijuana dispensaries illegal in Fullerton? When we have this much alcohol available, in Fullerton. Why is that? Why? Why does alcohol get a pass? I'd like to know. Gosh, I can't believe this. There's even more. Look at this. I mean, aisle after aisle of alcohol and booze. Look at this. It just keeps going. Aisle after aisle. So marijuana dispensaries are now illegal in the city of Fullerton. You can't buy marijuana in the city of Fullerton, even though it's legal. But you can come to Costco and you can have your choice of an unbelievable amount. I'm still walking around here, folks. I'm on another aisle. You can have your choice of just about anything that tickles your fancy that has to do with liquor. Folks, we got hospitals in this town, like I said at the council meeting, that sell more heroin than the Kazakhstan mafia. We got people addicted to opiate pain medications that are destroying their lives. We got people that are wrecking cars, driving drunk, killing people, beating up their wives because of this stuff. And people can't have access to it, to the marijuana, because the city council thinks it's okay to keep everybody drunk. But they don't want people having the ability to have marijuana. They just want people to have alcohol and heroin pills. Look at this. We're going with more here. Look at this. I think this is the end of it. 
I guess there's more on the shelves up there. In case they run out, this whole place is just loaded with backup. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Everywhere I go, just bottles and cases of it. Endless. Endless. Let's go back here, see what we got over here. Oh, there's more. This is unbelievable. There's, there's more over here. It just goes and goes and goes, aisle after aisle. Aisle after aisle. Mixes, backup cases. I mean, this is just, ladies and gentlemen, Marijuana is legal in the state of California, yet you can't buy it in Fullerton. But you can buy alcohol all you want. And children have to look at this as they get paraded through these stores. They actually have to be exposed to these bottles from a young age. This stuff should be out of sight like the, bear, the dirty magazines were in the liquor stores when I was growing up. The children are raised around alcohol and they think alcohol is okay. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a reason why they call it spirits, because what happens is when you start drinking this stuff, it evokes the spirits. I'm not going to get into the logos on some of these bottles, but I will tell you, Fullerton's in deep trouble. Our city government is corrupt. It is run by alcoholic scumbags who are corrupt to the core and who are complete hypocrites. There's no reason that alcohol should have a pass and we can't have marijuana dispensaries in this community for people that need medicinal marijuana, for people that want to buy recreational marijuana, because they can come in here and buy all the recreational alcohol they want. This place is a liquor store, folks. This is a gigantic liquor store. That's what this place is. And this is a Costco. I'm just in shock at the sheer volume of this stuff. I mean, it just, it just never ends. Look at it all. I think we've reached the, the end of this. I don't know if I can I can handle any more of this. Gift bags, gift baskets. You know what, folks? If you think it's okay for this to be happening, but it's not okay for marijuana dispensaries to be in the city of Fullerton, you're mentally ill. Because you want to know something? There's nothing wrong with medicinal marijuana. And there's nothing wrong with me pointing out to you that you've been so conditioned since a child to think that liquor is fine when in fact nothing could be further from the truth. So you ask yourself this question. Why is it that it's okay for children to be carted around grocery stores surrounded by bottles of this stuff? And yet the minute somebody wants to open up a marijuana dispensary in Fullerton, they can't because the city council voted to ban all marijuana dispensary usages of property in Fullerton. And yet they just doubled the occupancy of the bar owners. Mayor Bruce Whitaker, Doug Chafee, Jennifer Fitzgerald, Jesus Silva, who really doesn't have a clue what he's doing up there, and Greg Seymour. You guys are a joke. And the city of Fullerton is in ruin economically, but worst of all, ladies and gentlemen, morally, the fabric of this community is corrupt to the core. The churches are corrupt to the core. The political officials are corrupt to the core. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is a testament to what they serve. This is Joan Briano in Fullerton, Costco, hoping you'll see the light instead of living in the darkness.